If you follow me, you surely pass your mass one-to-one -one test and examination. We have to show that this function is continuous. A function is said to be continuous at a point if the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit exist and are equal. That is, the left-hand limit is lim f of x, the function, as x approaches minus 1 from the left, the negative axis, must be equal to lim of the function x approaches the point minus 1 from the right. That is to say, we are going to substitute this point minus 1 into this expression and equate it to this after substituting what minus 1 into this expression. That is 2x plus 5 must be equal to x squared plus 2. The point here is minus 1, right? So substitute minus 1 into this expression. We have 2 times minus 1 plus 5 equal to minus 1 all squared plus 2. Let's simplify. We have 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus 5 is equal to 1 minus 1 squared is 1, right? Now plus 2. Minus 2 plus 5 is 3 equals to 1 plus 2 is 3. You observe that what? The left hand limit is equal to the right hand limit and they exist. Hence, this function is continuous because the left hand limit and right hand limit are equal. So, please do well to like this video, share it, repost it. If you want more, type, I want more. See you. Now, see this question. Very, very simple. What is the value of c for which the function f of x is continuous at x is equal to 1? Recall that a function is said to be continuous at a point if the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit exist and are equal. Now, it means that what? The limit at this point must equal to the limit at this point, right? And that is substitute 1 into this expression and equate it to what? This expression. That is, and we have x squared must be equal to c1, c minus what x. This is a condition for continuity. The limit at the point is what? 1. So we are going to substitute 1 into this. We have 1 squared equal to c minus 1. 1 squared is, is what? 1, right? Equal to c minus 1. Let's make it the subject. We are going to cross any other term here that doesn't have c. The term in that and the right hand side of the equal to sign is c minus 1. Well, the one that doesn't have c is what? Minus 1. So, so we are going to cross it to the left hand side. This is minus 1. As minus 1 crosses to the left hand side, because of plus 1. As a term crosses the equal to, equal to sign, the sign of the term changes. So we have minus 1. As it crosses the right, to the left hand side, we have 1 eh, plus 1 is equal to C. And obviously, 1 plus 1 is equal to what? 2. Therefore, C is equal to 2. So the value of C for which the function is continuous at S is equal to 1 is what? 2. Thank you for watching. Please do well to like, follow, subscribe, repost, and also comment if you want more. Type I want more in the comment section. Catch you next time.